throughout this course to store the application code, I'll use GitHub. And you can find all the code inside this GitHub repository. But how is the code inside this repository structured? For that, let us go to my GitHub account. So in here in my repositories, I have this repository complete e-commerce ESP.NET MVC application. And then for each part of this course, you are going to have two separate branches. You are going to have the branch name with a B, which stands for beginning, and with an E, which stands for the end. So let us go to the branches. For example, in here, I have currently 19 branches. And then in here, if you search, for example, for 16, so you can see in here 16, the 16 branch has two states, the beginning state, so before I recorded or before I made any changes in the part 16 of this course, that was the begin state, and after I implemented the feature or whatever I wrote in the part 16, the end state for that part was the 16E. And the same goes for the 15, 14, or whatever part in this course where I type some code. So for example, for 15 in here, this was the state of the application on part 15, when the part 15 starts, after I write some code in the part 15, this is the end state. So what this means is that the 15E is actually equal to the 16B because I start the part 16 where I left it in part 15. This would make it really easy for you if you want to watch just certain parts, then you could just come to this GitHub repository and then you can just fork this GitHub repository and get just the parts or just the GitHub branches that you need.